Um, now, I remember in another video I was talking about the concept of the natural right, and that is the right of you to do whatever you have to do to exist, to survive, and that means you don't have to consider right or wrong because it says in the state of nature there is no right or wrong. All that is there is doing whatever you can to survive, uh, and, um, and, and that means uh, you, you can do a lot of what we will consider in an organized society to be evil, but in nature it's not evil. But now, he goes on in chapter 3 of, of political treaties to talk about, to, to bring some nuance into that argument, I think. And he argues that even in, in, in civil state, uh, people still pursue uh, things that will, make, will expand their existence, which is true, uh, even in an organized uh, society. We do things because we are selfish, for the most part, of course. We, we want to prosper, we want to acquire more wealth, we want to live long, we want all these are still same as the, uh, uh, what we wanted in the, in, the, in, the, in the natural state where there is no commonwealth. We still wanted to acquire more, live long, you know, get all these things. It's the same thing, but he says the difference lies in what I can call the standardization of, of we fear the same thing. And because we fear the same thing, we kind of act in a more organized way. That's the only difference he tries to bring out. Um, so let me read. The natural right of every man does not cease in the civil state. For man, and, and alike in the natural and in the civil state, acts according to the laws of his own nature and consoles his own interest. Man, I say, in each state is led by fear or hope to do or live and done this or that. But the main difference between the two states is this, that in the civil state all fear the same things and all have the same ground of security and manner of life. And this certainly does not do away with the individual's faculty of judgment. For he that is minded to obey all the commoners, all that wins, whether through fear or of its power or through love of quiet, certainly consult his own heart, his own safety and interest. So we don't really change that much from being in the natural state where there is no commonwealth and everybody for themselves. We, that, those desires and interests remain the same. What happens in a civil state is now we have ground rules to guide us while we are pursuing our personal interest and the things we want to get in life.